right, welcome back to the Refuge Podcast, the first ever. Um, so yeah, um, I, I'm your host, Anthony Savio, one of the youth leaders at Refuge Youth Group. Um, and yeah, this, like I said, this is our first podcast, and it's a very special one, because today our guest is no one, is, uh, is, <laughs> guest today is the one and only, he's right here to my right. James Natcher, James Paul Natcher, come on in. Hey, All right. hey. All right, so. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is not my house. As you can see, I would never buy a couch like this. This is a Filipino <laughs> house, as you, can, as you can see. There's probably a trash can underneath the sink. Anyways, all right, so like I said, this is James Natcher, our first guest for our Refuge podcast, the number one podcast, by the way. <laughs> I have a few questions for him, and uh, we're gonna just get into it. Are you ready? Always. Also, also, sorry. Also, um, why don't you go ahead and shout out uh, your 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 uh, <laughs> your, 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 your Facebook, your Dog. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Uh, Twitter handle. I forgot. I think it's like James underscore Nature. Okay. All lower caps. Instagram. Also, James, make sure to look at the camera. The camera's right there. Oh, okay. So, say. Right here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, don't look at the, don't look at the screen. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, sorry, sorry, we're still over. Okay. Uh, uh, Twitter <coughs> handle is James underscore Nature. Instagram just James Nature. Okay. Awesome. So if you guys want to be weird and follow me. Awesome. Definitely follow James. Um, I'm sure most of you are. We have a small audience, unfortunately. But anyways, <laughs> um, before we get into it, also, um, today's podcast is brought to you by. Seatgate. <laughs> no, no, let me let me do it. I'm okay, most, my bad, okay. My bad. It's brought to you by FBC anniversary, twenty fifth anniversary, oh. coming up uh, April twenty eighth, four thirty to eight. At the be center. there, be square at the center. Um, they're sponsoring the podcast today. So, um, and um, if you go to fbc.com slash refuge, you get twenty percent off uh, tickets there. We have a website. I also am lying. Anyways, all right. <laughs> What grade are you in? I'm actually in my last year of high school in 12th grade. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. I'll be graduating May 21st. So be there wow. or be square wow. at the center. Just kidding. I think it's at Bartlett. So. At Bartlett this year? Um, yeah. Or you East. Know, I have a quick, quick, quick story. Although uh, it, it refers to a very long uh, moment in my life. <laughs> Let's look back at uh, Nathan Natcher, James Nathan, brother. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, no. I think, no. I think it was Keisha. 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 Yeah. Anyways, Family Partnership. They do not skimp on the on the specials. Per special numbers. Yeah. That was a three hour graduation for twenty five kids. Anyways, hopefully it's not that long for yeah. James's uh, graduation. Probably gonna be like around like five hours. Five hours. Okay. Yeah. Give or take. Give know. or take. Give or take. So, all right. Next question. Okay. What would you say is uh, your most memorable moment? Specifically, let's say specifically, specifically when at youth group during youth group during Thursdays. like Thursday youth groups, yeah. um, it's probably like all the games we play like running around. I I can't pinpoint a certain time because like six years, dude, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of years. Um, but I'd say those ones where like really spend time with your friends and like have fun. I mean, you for focus on God as well, but like mm -hmm. you know, like I guess like it's also the fellowship part of it. It's just like. The best part, you know, when you like talk or just like when you like kind of like uh, when you're playing a game and you're just like having tons of fun playing ultimate during the summer mm -hmm. or like an indoor running game during the winter. So I can't really say a specific moment. I'll just say the parts where uh, everyone's having fun is like mm -hmm. the fun I've had. It's kind of weird. but Yeah, you definitely came a long way. <laughs> yeah. Um, that being said, uh, remind us of uh, your first time, your first day at youth group, your first ever Thursday. My first ever third. Wow. Okay, they're going way back. This is probably like, actually, April um, a few a couple weeks ago. Like a week ago was like anniversary or something like that. Because I, I, I arrived in the, I guess to pre to put context this, I arrived at um April first. April It's kind of weird. Wow. April Fools, but. Um, I guess I can't really remember, but I know that we used to have youth group over in the sanctuary instead of like where we have it now. And, um, we used to, uh, the kids, I mean, I mean, not the kids, but people my age then, they used to just go sit on the 
carpets. We used to set up bean bags and um, we just used to do it on the um, sanctuary instead of the um, the room we use now. So it's definitely changed a lot. Um, there's a couple of seniors. I mean, a lot of older people that were there that are not there anymore, obviously. Uh, it's been six years. Uh, but um, I think, yeah, I think it was a fun experience for me because uh, it was like a bunch of new people and I was willing to like greet, I meet new people basically. And I didn't really have a, like someone I talked to at first, but obviously that comes with time. So I think my first day was just like, like a awkward greeting with Nick and stuff in them. And yeah, it was just like youth group in the sanctuary basically instead of the youth room. But yeah, I'm glad we have our youth group now. Youth room now, it's like more con more intimate. Like, although some youth groups were kind of isolated, or not isolated, we're segregated. Yeah, segregated. But that's like a like a old uh, that's an old uh, uh, old uh, problem. Yeah, ancient. Hopefully, problem. you know. Hopefully, it'll change. It'll, cha it'll change. Shout it'll out change. to the youth group members now. <laughs> no more, uh, no more segregation, please. No more. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Twenty eighteen. How about your first time at winter camp? First time at winter camp. Uh, my first winter camp was um, winter of, I mean, I guess J like February of uh, 2013. Because I, I, I went, my, yeah, my first winter camp is 2013, February. It was, um, the theme was Majesty. And um, it was a great winter camp for me because it was like, in terms of like a spiritual and like kind of like you know basis it just like completely changed my mind in terms of how i approached like church and stuff like that so it was a great camp for me and um i also winter camp is basically a lot of good team building with the other believers in it and also like god as well so it was a fun time and definitely like my, my top top three winter camps mm -hmm. your first winter camp my first winter camp yeah. we camp maranatha camp maranatha we had green shirts and um, yeah, Majesty, as I said, and there was actually an uh, the Aurora. Oh well, yeah, we saw the Northern, the, lights, the Northern Lights. Basically, came out ironically during the invitation of right. that winter camp, which was that was epic. awesome. Like it really, so. like, like that was the, if that wasn't a sign from if that wasn't a sign, I don't know what it was like. Yeah. <laughs> There's people there that haven't seen the Northern for Lights for like years, and they've been years, here for like years, and like they saw it just like yeah. full blown, as as bright as it, you could have seen it. That was all. I remember that. Yeah. Also. It was very good. And that's when I knew it was like, it was a special, special yeah. night. Yeah. So. Exactly. Also, they played Passion of a Christ. <coughs> Passion of a Cross. Yeah, Passion of the Christ. Which we, is like. play that video, it's like, Which is like, come on. Like, yeah, if you don't cry, thing. it's like, you're like inhuman. Yeah, I agree. Okay, how about when it comes to like summer camp? I know yours is kind of different. It was a little, we had to, you had to like drive six hours to Chitna. Yeah, my first, I guess, like, was that, was that the winter, the summer camp that year? Like yeah. 2012. All right, my first summer camp was kind of like a missions camp as well. Um, we went to Chitna six hours away, and the drive was fun because I, I was in Nick's car, mm -hmm. and Nick's car is, like, all we play is, like, newsboys and, like, <laughs> blasted really loud. Only real OG would know really these boys. Uh, and um, it was fun because like um, a lot of the older guys, they're not used to like um, like Levi, Daniel, I think Jaffet was there, Jason. Um, all of them came, and I think they were like the only dude. Like a couple, and my brother as well. But like there was like probably like six or seven dudes who came, or eight, something like that. Um, and we just went to um, Chitna, and we stayed at the church. And it wasn't really like summer camp camping that we usually do every summer. It was like we were in the building, so it, it kind of like it cheated. But it was fun because uh, we got to like, you know, spend time with the kids, help them do their own VBS instead of just our churches, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though um, my first year I actually didn't do a, I think I think I wasn't in the VBS that year. Yeah, I think I don't think I was in the VBS. So that was like technically my first VBS or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it was fun because... Uh, but uh, basically, it was my first winter camp was in Chitna, and um, we also hiked a lot, I think. We had, I don't, probably like one time, but we hiked as well. There was another group with us from Valdez, and yeah. It was completely different because it was like, it wasn't just like, um, just our own youth group. It was like a bunch of other groups of people, and it wasn't really camping. It was like glamping, basically. Glamping. Glamping. All right. <clears throat> I have more questions for you, but we're going to move on to our next segment. It's going to be called... Um, Reviewing the refuge page. 
We're just gonna go down the list here. Down All the right. list. All right. Okay, the different, the different comments and or the different posts that people from the YouTube post oh, on gosh. the message <laughs> page in the past. Let's say the past, past month. Past month. And we're just gonna like you All know right. analyze why they did it and, and why. And <laughs> also, you know, just like yeah, like uh, just thoughts about. It. Anyways, okay. First one we got here from Will Graham. Tomorrow, 2.15, Isle of Dogs at Century 16. Ring a sibling or someone close to it for Sibling Sunday. Pretty straightforward, I'd say. It was a, it was a good movie. It, yeah, the movie was good. Okay, let's see the commenters. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> well, let's start out with the likes. We'll start out with the likes. Right. James Natcher. Okay. Jason Cristobal liked it. Yep. Comment from James Natcher. <clears throat> Do you want to go ahead and say it? Yeah, Isle of Dogs, yeah! I was really excited because it was a Wes Anderson flick, and I love Wes Anderson's style. It's a good movie. So. You're very different. Very different. Like, if you don't know Wes Anderson, you'd be like, what the heck is this? But, like, if you see his other works, it's like, Facts. this is probably, like, not as weird as his other works. Facts. Also, so. another comment from Alexandra. I'm the only one here so far. Sad face. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, that sucks. And after that, <laughs> Shaylee Noeska. She was sick. Dang, I sick. Yeah, so. All right. Uh, all right, going, for her going, she's so sick. going down here. All right, we got a picture from 2015. Just rose up. Yeah. <laughs> only because James Natcher commented on it saying, only if we were in directly in line with the road. Sad wow. face. It was a picture of me and Isaiah. Uh, I think I'll probably pull it up in editing, maybe. I'll put it up in post. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <dude. laughs> All right. All right. All right. This one's a good one. This one we have to pull up, like, in All some right. way or another. All right. This next one, dating back to June 1st, 2016. Team, okay. Hiking. Well, with Uncle Quint, you got a picture of Paolo. Um, doing something weird. Looking like a fool. Uh. Um, and we got Celeste saying, Paolo... Okay okay. okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, Celeste love uh, commenting in our past photos. Yeah, Celeste be out there stalking. The it's Facebook. fun, though, because it brings it up on the timeline. So. Yeah, she be stalking the refuge page. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, speaking of stalking, we got June 30th, 2015. Another picture just popped out, you know what I'm saying? Only because uh, Celeste posted. She tagged Jason and said work work with that that surprise face yeah. um i think it's pulled up but it's a picture of jason's calves jason's calves as per usual looking yeah. cut and jason sent the gif saying leg gif. day wait gif okay okay gif gif okay all right saying leg day all right all right <laughs> this one's kind of crazy. all right this one <laughs> picture from january 3rd 2014 tubing tuesdays classic Facts. Actually, uh, hold up. Yeah, Tubing Tuesdays. Yep. Um, I was wearing. I I don't know. Someone gave. I think that was you who gave me that headband. No, that was that was Uncle Quinn. Uncle Quinn gave me a headband, and I felt. I felt. I felt. I was feeling myself. Uh, it's kind of. It's kind of. Uh, looking back, I should have done that pose, but it's fun. It's uh. There's some few comments on it. Uh, last one was from Celeste, of course, <laughs> saying, "Do you have one leg?" Because James. <laughs> Is doing a little, you know, pirouette. Pirouette. Kind of like, Bellarina. Just, you, know, you know. First position type thing. Yeah, exactly. You got one leg in the air, one on the ground. All right. <clears throat> now to a more recent picture. This one was actually April 13th, which, which was our board game night. All right. So if y'all weren't there. Ask for a ride next time. Ask for a ride next time. All right. So we got a picture of Job. Job Daniel Dizon. Job Dizon. Daniel Dizon. Dizon. <laughs> All right. Where's Rennie? Oh, she in the background. Okay, so <clears throat> he just looking like a fool. Yeah, with some Jenga blocks in um, his hands. If you zoom in on the um, he's doing this. If you zoom in. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a neck. Played out. On the record, played out. Anyways, let's move on from that. All right. All right. All right, and this is our last post we're gonna look at. You get you can't land on a on a more better post. You got the leaders on here. They're just posing out. Posing. Ah. Coming from the students, I don't know why they kicked us out of the picture. I feel hey, like should... this is for the uh, this is for again good segue, James. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is um, this podcast is brought to you by FBC anniversary twenty fifth anniversary. Um, come to uh the center that's yeah. off of Arctic, um four thirty to eight o'clock. 
We're going to be there celebrating the 25, 25 years of, of uh, God's blessing when it comes mm. to the FBC. 25. James and his family have recently acquired a Google Home. For being with GCI for a long time. And it's one of those uh, speakers you could talk to, ask them anything. So we're going to do that. All right. I want to set it up or? No, it's good over there. All right, all right. <clears throat> so all you have to do is say, okay, Google, and then it listens to you. So, Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. There it is. Okay, okay. he wanted to say something, so right. there it is. All right, so, okay, Google. Uh... Okay, Google. Tell us a joke. How much does a pirate pay for corn? A buccaneer? Oh, to dissect that, a buck is a... Nickname for dollar and a near, you could call sometimes a cup of corn a near of a corn. So, buck, right, buck think, a near. All right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, Google. Uh, tell me a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. Or they dissect heard, that? Um, or they dissect that? I've heard that before. Yeah. I don't think well, I need to dissect it. What do you think, though? Um... If you need it to be dissected, you're you're, <laughs> you're slipping. <laughs> you're uh, stop the video. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right, my turn. Uh, okay, Google, tell me another joke. What is a balloon's least favorite kind of music? Pop. Oh, the sound effects too. Uh, you didn't even have a. <laughs> Oh my goodness! All right, okay, we're gonna we're All gonna right. go basic. Next, we're next, gonna go next basic. section. All right, we're we're gonna really test this Google Home, see what it's made of. Although we'll start with the easier stuff. Yeah. Okay, Google, what's the weather like in two days? Wednesday and Thursday in Anchorage, it'll be cloudy with highs around fifty and lows around thirty-three. All right. Uh, All right, that's a little bit different from uh, today. Today is actually yeah, today a sunny day. Is really hot. I think this summer is going to be good. What do you think? This summer, okay, we're going to do some <coughs> forecasting real quick since, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I think this summer is going to be great. Uh, like how, you know, Trump's trying to get America to be great again. We've got to mm -hmm. make this summer great, you right. know. I agree. we got to um, just take advantage of maybe the sunlight that we're going to have, you know. We had it early today, like as soon as we came back from winter camp, sunlight's here. So mm -hmm. might as well use it and not waste it, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what Gandhi once said. Yeah, uh, I hopefully the field at our church is gonna be bright. I mean, not bright, um, dry. <laughs> cool story. Uh, when I was younger, uh, my mom made some shrimp. Mm -hmm. Ironically, I can't eat it, so I ate like the, um, like the. It's kind of like a stew, so I ate the stuff that's not with shrimp. So I just made like two pots, kind of. Mm -hmm. And my me and my brother was eating one time. We were like facing each other in the table, uh, and we got mad at each other. And uh, he threw a shrimp in my face. Mm -hmm. And my face swelled. Mm -hmm. And then when my mom got home, she was like so mad. She was like, uh, Nathan, do you want your brother to look like this forever? And he like, we, lo we both looked, he cried because I was ugly. Because I'm, I'm so ugly, but uh, it was like really inflamed. So I regret. Uh, that's why I don't really like eating. I mean, uh, you know, some would just like go away over time. Um, but I'm really so scared to try it because my past reactions are pretty bad. So yeah. Okay, Google. Play the Jeopardy theme song. Oh. Since I couldn't find the song Jeopardy theme song in your music library, here's a similar mix on Google Play Music. I guess this is gonna be like a commercial type thing. So this next segment is called um, Roasting the Refuges Instagram pages. All right, let's look at Celeste's Instagram. Celeste's Instagram. Do you know her? Do you know her thing? She be out here. She be out here. Trying to, trying to remake stuff. Like, like progressive. Really progressive. Like SpongeBob. Like what I said a while ago, SpongeBob. Anything that's SpongeBob makes it ten times better. Stop, 
for you and me. Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh we're gonna roast ourselves a little bit. Uh first off, good set choice. Uh I like that angle shot that really shows the progression of the person. Uh I feel like though that you should have followed through in terms of the acting because I feel like you dropped it like one second before. No, she broke ends. character. She broke you broke character, you know. Uh Sponge SpongeBob. SpongeBob is never not breaks laughing. character. SpongeBob is not a laughing matter. He wasn't smiling. <laughs> Yeah, right. last uh we about I'm gonna give this I'm gonna put this aside, you know. Just, like, get just, just throw away the, the script, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, James, I want you to close out. What is your what do you wanna say to the youth group as you leave? <laughs> as, as, they, you leave as, leave, as I leave, leave as you leave. I wanna just, you know, Take it from the heart. Like. Uh, take it from the heart. Um, all right. It's weird because like the camera is not where the screen is. And I like looking at myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> try not to. Um, okay. Uh, I'll try to be fast. But uh, I just want to like encourage you guys to like um, be ready. To, like get this. Uh, you know, put yourself out there because like that's what life is all about. Is like putting yourself in uncomfortable situation. Like trying out new things, but not too new. <laughs> like obviously, like the ones that are you know within our belief system, but like to be you know at least like outgoing and like just be ready to like tackle anything, um, and just to like be there for each other as friends, you know, and like because that's what youth group is all about is a refuge, you know. So just be there for each other, and you know, just lastly, to just like um, to be passionate about God, because like I I feel like you know it's like. If you take away anything away from a youth group, it should be you know, a relationship. So, um, yeah, I'm a sucker for last speeches. But, um, yeah, I uh, also I just want to say goodbye, you know. I mean, this, like, this is going to be released, like, way before. But, like, you know, just I appreciate you guys. And, um, yeah, just those three points, I guess. I forgot them already. But I know I remember just focus on God and focus on each other because, you know, y'all are uh, in this journey, so... Might as well not be alone. Awesome. Thank you, James. Yeah, so <clears throat> this was the Refuge Podcast, episode one. Um, and yeah, we'll hopefully see you in, in, newer, in other episodes. Everyone yeah. here is watching. Maybe there'll be Make a part sure two. Make sure to like, subscribe, <laughs> favorite, comment down. <laughs> um, ideas that you want us to do for this podcast. Yeah. Or um, if you don't want us to do it. <laughs> but don't say that. Like, that's mean. But, yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, that's going to conclude it for us. Um, it was a good time. Thanks for, thanks for uh, being here with us. Uh, this, uh, this segment is sponsored by Audible.com. Yeah, Audible.com. Um, Go ahead. If you ever feel like you don't have enough time to read a book, you know, with typing in my name, <laughs> you get a free <laughs> I don't know. But basically, Audible.com. I don't know. Please don't sue us if we said your name in this video. But, okay. Um, yeah. Podcast over.